Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Megan Skaggs. Police arrested a man just hours after a fatal shooting in downtown Lexington overnight. Lexington police say 30-year-old Dedrick Brown got into a fight with 24-year-old Brandon Wynn around midnight. That's when investigators say Wynn was shot in the chest. After the shooting, police say Brown and several others took Wynn to Samaritan Hospital, where he later died. Brown is now in the Fayette County Jail, charged with murder. According to jail records, Brown has been in and out of jail nearly 10 times since 1998. Well, the winner of the biggest lottery jackpot in Kentucky's history still has not come forward. And the Georgetown store that sold the ticket is just as curious about who won that $128.6 million prize. ABC 36's Chris Dietz has more. Jack Secure found out early. This morning, 6 o'clock, uh, a lot of people call me. They called to tell him his store, the Pro Travel Marathon in Georgetown, had sold Saturday's winning Powerball ticket. The slip of paper, now worth more than $128 million, was processed <laughs> and handed over Christmas Eve to the new millionaire, by Kaz Hossein, who says it was very busy that day. I'm not sure exactly who was it, but I'm really assuming somebody from the local area. Zakir has been running the store for five years, and the biggest prize he's ever sold before now was a scratcher for $3,000. But thanks to six lucky numbers, he too will share the wealth. The store gets about $90,000. And I'm the happiest man in the Georgetown <laughs> now. Maybe second happiest man, but I'm happy. The only thing that would make Zakir happier, if the state's biggest ever lottery jackpot belongs to one of his regular customers. Most of my customers, I, I really don't treat them as my customers. They are my friends. They are my friends in good time. They are my friends in bad times. So I would be happy if I have sold one of those tickets to one of my friends. Something Zakir and the rest of the regulars at Pro Travel Marathon will likely learn real soon. In Georgetown, Chris Dietz, ABC 36, your local news source. The odds of winning were more than 195 million to one. Now, when the owner of the ticket does come forward, they will have the choice of annual installments or a lump sum payment of an estimated $63 million. Well, a Somerset robbery didn't turn out so sweet for the alleged thieves. Police say both Joshua Davis and Michael Belger broke into Mayfield and Little Debbie delivery trucks. Police say the pair stole ice cream and Little Debbie snack cakes. They were arrested and charged with receiving stolen property. That's going to do it for this ABC 36 News update. You can always get the latest on our website at WTVQ.com.